My name is Michael Fisher, and I'm a Snapchatter. Whether or not you are too, odds are you've heard of Snapchat spectacles, the wearable camera sunglasses popping up all over the country. I snagged a pair right before the Consumer Electronics Show, and a week later, I can say that this is the most fun way there is to snap. But like any glimpse into the future, life on spectacles is far from perfect. Here's five things you've got to know before you buy them. When I say spectacles are the best way to Snapchat, I mean that using them feels natural. Like it's how social video was always meant to be. When you're wearing them and you see something interesting, you just push the button and the onboard camera starts recording a 10-second snap. Much easier than fumbling for your phone, unlocking it, and launching an app to do the same thing. The LEDs up front do a little dance so people know they're being recorded, and you get a tiny cue light that blinks to warn you when you've got two seconds left. While the spectacles can hold about 200 snaps in storage, you have to open Snapchat to publish them. The spectacles can transfer files over Bluetooth, but if you want the HD version of your videos, they'll pair using Wi-Fi instead for a faster transfer. Even then, it's a pretty pokey process. As with everything Snapchat, it isn't immediately obvious how to use the interface, but once you get the hang of it, there's actually a flow to it. Spectacles aren't easy to get a hold of. Right now, if you can't make it to the New York City store, you have to hope a SnapBot vending machine pops up in your area, and it seems to heavily favor the West Coast for its landings. Even then, you'll pay $130 for the privilege, and let me tell you, these do not feel like $130 sunglasses. The plastic feels cheap and gets oily very quickly. The lenses are easy to scratch and tough to clean, and after just a couple days, the temples on mine are so loose that they swing wildly about. Oh, and also, they're not waterproof and not resistant to extreme temperatures. So don't overpay on eBay for these things, or even spring for a legit pair, unless you understand that you're largely paying for status. And boy howdy, do these things give you status. Wearing spectacles instantly transforms you into a Snapchat spokesperson, whether you like it or not. This isn't something I mind, because I like talking to people, but having every other person stop you on the street to ask what the deal is with your glasses, I could see that grating on people. Good. Okay. Now you're rolling a 10 second snap. Stop uh, a 10 second snap. And now you're rolling a 10 rolling second well. snap. And then it starts rolling. What? Yeah, isn't that wild? Woo! Oh, now yeah, you're, green you're shooting a 10 second uh, snap. Ooh. Yeah, we can see a little LED going like that. Yeah, it's a little ring. So we know is you're blinking. Yes. Now you're running out of time. Also, Snapchat makes sure your followers know you've got them too. As you've seen, videos shot through spectacles are matted in a circular frame, so you can spin your phone without the video orientation changing. It's pretty cool. Again, I used spectacles at the busiest venue I could find, the Consumer Electronics Show. And as a guy who likes to keep in touch with his viewers, I found them super handy. With spectacles, you're not just seeing things through someone's phone, you're very literally seeing through their eyes. That simple change makes the experience much more intimate and, practically speaking, keeps the wearer's hands free to manipulate stuff. Whatever that stuff is, not my business. Even with heavy use, the Spectacle's tiny battery lasted me through the day, and the carrying case packs a few more charges via its larger battery. You can recharge the case and the glasses within via magnetic USB cable. Oh, and yes, they're pretty good sunglasses. Though if you want fancy polarized lenses, you need to get your own. And of course, wearing them inside invites both squinting and Corey Hart references. For all the doom and gloom about Google Glass and smartwatches being dead and gone, I still think wearables are the future. After all, they're just another extension of the Internet of Things intelligent components placed inside everyday items to make them more useful. If you don't like the look of spectacles, I get it. If you don't like Snapchat, I, I get that too. But if you are a member of the Church of the Dancing Ghost, spectacles are a really fun way to snap. And with their approachable, even goofy look, they're a preview of our connected future that's 
a little less intimidating than what we've seen before. Subscribe to Mr. Mobile on YouTube for more mobile tech videos just like this one, and follow me on Snapchat for assorted ridiculousness at Mr. Mobile Snaps. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends. Thank you.